All right, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to get the Oaks letter in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, this is going to be literally um, the best method out there to get the Oaks um, letter, even after the Mystery Gift event has been available to the public, because the public, because as you guys may know or may not know, Mystery Gifts don't last forever, so the event is gonna eventually end, and some people are gonna miss out on the event due to the fact that they may get this game two or three years later from now and this video can be basically be a reference to that so as i was recording this video there's only one way you can get the oaks letter i know in the near future there's going to be like i think three ways for you to activate this event but the uh, one way i've been recording this video is to do hexing obviously you're going to need a custom firmware switch or be playing this game on the Yuzu and Ryuzinx emblem. So I'm basically gonna hex the game. All you need is know where your save file location is and then have PK hex. I'm not gonna showcase you guys how to hex in this video due to the fact that if I do, this video is going to get claimed by Nintendo. So I'm not trying to show any like me hexing and then <laughs> the whole video is gonna get claimed. So making this video will, will be a total waste. I know some people will like that, but anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm basically going to hex the game and basically enable the Oak Slider. So see you guys in a sec. All right, we're back. So, oh, let me, let me go to the town map. All right, I'm going to my bag. As you can see, I got the Oak Slider. So this, I believe... Um, by you having the Oak Slider, it does not activate the event itself. So when you're using PK Hex, you gotta know how to activate the flags. Um, I can't showcase, obviously, how to activate the flags. But if you guys have a gut understanding of how to use PK Hex, if you mess around with it, you're gonna eventually see where you to, see where to activate the flags. And it's pretty much in the Save tab. And then when you're in the Save tab, you're gonna see somewhere that says flags, and then you're gonna see certain things are disabled. You're gonna see things that say zero, zero. You gotta basically make everything one. If you make everything one, that means you basically activate all the lock events that were in the game. And basically, you're gonna need the item, which I just told you guys by doing through hexing. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really gonna need. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the Shaman event, Pokemon Building Diamond Shining Pro. This is really gonna be a useful method before and after the Mystery Gift event comes out eventually because like I said in the beginning of the video, Mystery Gift events don't last forever. They're gonna have a expired date eventually. And people will buy this game for like two to three, four years from now, they're gonna miss out on the event. So this is going to be like a little handy guide on explaining and also showcasing you guys how to activate the events years and years from on from now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah guys, it's super birds and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.